And they're going to throw a lot of people out there. As a handoff up the middle, room to run. That's Donovan Spencer. No surprise there. He's a guy that's going to get the ball a lot here today. Flames faced one of those last week in Hinden Hooker. Had some pressure, delivers a strike, and another first down. So the Catamounts. Paul Johnson, Treshawn Clark. They're not having a chance to get to the quarterback with as quickly as it's coming out of Mark Wright's hands. Reggie Jones with his second reception of the ball game. Big from it. This four down territory, trick plays. You don't know what they might pull out here today. On the move, firing downfield, and the overshot is intended target. He was looking for Mahari stribbling there on the deep route. Can you check? And that did not have a chance. Well short, and the Flames defense manages to hold. With a lot of explosive players, they're only going to continue to get better. Josh Mack takes the handoff, has a crease, and has the first down. In the FCS in scoring defense, Willis in the pocket, has time, now fires near side, and that's caught along the sideline by C.J. Yarbrough. See right third read to make a completion. Willis, time again, fires into traffic and going up and snagging it was Noah Frith. So that's what you get with Frith back yeah. on the field, that long block. Willis pulls it out, fires, big time catch by Yarbrough, keeps his feet and fights his way down to the three yard line. Boy, he took a shot, Woo. somehow managed to absorb it. Is so dangerous with Correct. his legs. Mack picking his way through, and he's in. Josh Mack with his third touchdown of the season. And the Flames score on their opening drive of the ball game. Originally to go with the 2056 extension. <laughs> Hand off, nice run on first down. That's Josh Mack continuing to turn those legs as he gets about 13. Look, Johnny Huntley pulling that tight end and being able to come out and kick out the defensive end. Good strike on the slant to CJ Yarbrough. And the Flames move the chains. Flames. Looking to add to their lead. Malik Willis going to keep it across midfield and ducks under a tackle as he picks up about 12. Pulls it out, looking downfield, takes a shot. Wide open, tight end, Johnny Huntley. 10-5, touchdown. We can lead during this kind of adversity. Right. You know, we, you can do it anytime. Time in the pocket, open tight end down the middle of the field, caught by Kosinki, and he rumbles inside the 25. Yeah, perfect example of it right there with Will Jones in a ball game. As he's been a big part of their offense. Looking downfield again, throwing, little back shoulder, nice snag on the near sideline. Gonna throw it again, pressure coming. On the move, man wide open, touchdown. The backup tight end, Clayton Bardall, all by his lonesome. And the Catamounts are on the board. Third down opportunities so far today. Willis with time, steps up, looking deep downfield, looking for Kevin Shaw. Can he get there? The diving attempt, and he made the grab. It was a deep post with great accuracy. Third and two, Willis going to keep it. Turning it up, great blocking, and he walks it in. And then he does that. You know, that is, that's how they set that play up. You look at those short yardage games with Shedder Lewis running up the middle, keeping those inside linebackers. It'll be the worst start since pre-Bo Schimbeckler. How about that? They are struggling right now in Ann Arbor as Malik Willis with a nice run on first down. I mean, accomplished quarterback in his own right from the University of Maine. This time he hands it off, and the Flames will pick up the first down on that run by Josh Mack. Yeah, he's done right here. Here comes pressure off the edge. Flames pick it up, taking a shot downfield. C.J. Daniels behind the defense, and he's in. Malik Willis dropping it in the bucket. Daniels hauls it in for the score. Third and one. And that'll get the yards they need. Spencer once again. Spencer a guy. Big conversion for Western Carolina right here. Three wide receivers to the left. They throw it to the right, looking for the tight end. It's picked off! Picked off by Darrell Johnson. The defensive end has some room to run. Bringing it near side, steps out of bounds. And how about the athleticism <laughs> from your D end?
And they slipped the back out of the backfield right there. Darrell Johnson was a little bit behind him. If he's able to throw that over the top to his outside shoulder, for him to take a shot down the middle of the field. Has some time. Now he's going to try to tuck it. See if he can get some yards, get to the edge. Picked up a little block, but steps out of bounds. Shy of the first down. Let's go. Snap is down. Low. Had the distance. What a, what a but not stop. the accuracy. What? Axon Robertson to kick it away. And he's going to get his chance. Slight bobble at the outset, but here comes Shedro coming near side. Look out, he's got some room. Across the 40 to midfield and couldn't quite keep his feet in bounds as he steps out in Western Carolina territory. Three wide receivers, now four as they motion Mack out of the backfield to the near side. Malik steps up, look out, nobody in front of him, 20, 10, see you later. Malik Willis. For job, so these guys better be playing the next play. Keeper, some room to run, now cutting it back. Jones across midfield, still on his feet, now will slide out of bounds. Here, they like that back shoulder fade earlier. Gonna pull it out under pressure. Trey John Clark, he gets the pass away. His receiver was blocking on the far side. Them in. Good snap, it's down. Kick is away and it's gonna be short. Online, but yeah. short as it bounced in the back of the end zone. Now when it comes to his offense and how it should be run. Willis standing in the pocket, gonna let it go deep down the field. That's Kevin Shaw, snags it! Reaches out and grabs it, it's a foot race! from Malik Willis. Oh, oh my! 84 yards! Remains in and running back for Liberty. Good pass. That one caught for a short game. That ball come out at the end. Oh Western Carolina players acting like it. They're all pointing as if they've recovered it. No official word yet. Got it. And they got it. Fumble and recovered by Western Carolina. First out. Yep. Yeah, good job punching the football right there and knocking that thing out. Schedules are more first 10 plays. Swinging out. The catch made across midfield. Coming near side. Wrapped up. Knocked out of bounds on the reception. Right. Hands it off, some room to run. Spencer accelerating through the hole, and he's taken down at around the 30. Second and six, they fake it to him. Right, looking to throw back to him now. He's got him, the catch is made. It'll be up for a first down. Good tackle out there. The end zone. Quarterback keeps it. Did he got get it. in? He did. So you saw Mark Wright just follow Donovan Spencer right through the hole, and he gets in. Third down for Liberty. Hands off, trying to outrun that defense. He does. Josh Mack cuts it up. And he's shy of the 40-yard line. Coastal Carolina there. Why, why do we well, mention the shots of clears as Liberty just takes one to the house? Someone <laughs> didn't give them the heads up. And we're in the middle of the Fansville College yeah. football update. Dr. Pepper. DJ Daniels says, Dr. Pepper. I don't care. What happened here? Chris Ferguson. Slam, Slinging bro. it, and Daniels does the rest. So two scores for the true freshman. What a season this young man is having. Able to take it the distance. Also now, Jason Stricker in for the extra point. Did not put it through. Out, picked oh. off. Intercepted. Is that Carl Poole? Hands it off, pick it now, some room to run. Across the 20, can he take it all the way? Yes, he can. Peyton Pickett gets loose, and this Liberty offense is pouring it on. He'll take those shots downfield. Mario Douglas waits for the punt. He's not going to have a chance to catch that. Hugh Freeze might. What do you need? <laughs> Get you all ready for Go that straight one. Straight to the point. Yeah. Hand off. That's Troy Henderson just checked in the ball game. Little guy, but running hard, picks up nine, maybe just shy of the first down mark. A lot of teams, I haven't seen any teams run screens. Hand off, near side, and that's 
going to lose yardage as well. So the Flames move in the wrong direction these last couple of plays. They get the snap away. The kick is away. And he got it. <laughs> I love it. They hand off to him again. And he'll get it out to the 15-yard line. That ball come out. Sandy Crawl him down. down. Flames to Carl Poole saying, give me another one. Uh, take a look, make sure that he's down. There's that knee. Oh, oh. oh. after further review. Watch his fourth down play. Okay. No, it's a fight. Hand off, coming near side. Inside the five, lunging for the end zone. I don't think he got in. I'm also not sure he held on to the football. No, they're calling it a fumble, it looks like. We're getting another look at it here. And yeah, he just oh, kind of, he, he, he did hit the pylon. That was yeah, good. but it was out of his hands. It was good accuracy. <laughs> and play this game is step in the right direction. On the other side is you see the big tackle made there. Like the, the, the season they have had, what they've been able to do. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, and they will now go to North Carolina State next week with the wow. chance to continue to shock the country and move ahead with an unbeaten season. But for now, 8-0 with the win, 58-14 over Western Carolina.